Welcome to the Business Miracles Podcast. I'm Heather Dominic, founder of businessmiracles.com. Since 2010, I've been training highly sensitive entrepreneurs and leaders from around the globe to work less while making more impact and income by doing things differently. I'm so glad you've joined me. Listen in and get ready for a shift in the way you view yourself, your work, your life. A business miracle. This is A Course in Business Miracles, episode number 124, The Law of Higher Will. Listen in to learn a simple but powerful practice to inspire more compassion, love, and delight in your daily life, creating a ripple effect that will positively impact and transform your business, relationships, and life as a highly sensitive entrepreneur and leader. The Law of Higher Will From the viewpoint of our separate self and smaller will, it's normal to act on the basis of our own desires and preferences. When we surrender our smaller self and will to the guidance of a higher will and dedicate our actions for the highest good of all concerned, we feel an inspired glow at the center of our life. Deep breath and let it out. The law of higher will especially serves those of us who've mistaken our opinions or beliefs for ultimate truth and who've imposed these beliefs on others, forgetting that others have their own paths to follow, not ours. Those of us who tend to sabotage ourselves, who secretly doubt our own goodness and abilities, and who need a way to connect to the understanding that life has a deeper meaning. Those of us who feel cut off, alone, or who find ourselves struggling against other egos for recognition or to be a part of the quote-unquote good life. The heartfelt prayer, thy will be done, is one way of applying the law of higher will. For some, thy refers to God. For others, it applies to the universe or to infinite wisdom at the core of life. To apply this law in your own life, you have to only ask internally. If a wise, loving, compassionate, altruistic, all-knowing spirit within me were guiding me right now, What would I do in this situation? The law functions because such a spirit does work through us. We only have to contact it by calling on a part of ourselves, and then we know what to do. Then we act in the name of or in service to the highest and best that's within us. When we say to ourselves, thy will be done, and wait for guidance or direction, We won't get much help from the mind. Write that down. We won't get much help from the mind because the mind plays games. The mind is filled with monkeys tossing around the nut. The mind will play games such as, if I'm part of the universe and the universe is part of me, then whatever I want is what the universe wants for me. The law of higher will expands our vision beyond that small self that competes for dominance, moving us into a collaborative vision based on the recognition that we're all in this world together. Thus, this law reflects a profound sense of unity and love. Calling on a higher will involves contacting motives that go beyond personal preferences and self-interest and instead in service and acting for the highest good of all concern. For example, 
hoping for rain in a drought-stricken area, even though your own roof is leaking. Deep breath and let it out. When we turn to a higher will for direction, we feel expanded, uplifted, and connected to a larger cause. Our life takes on a deeper and higher meaning. When we align ourselves with this inner sense of higher will, dedicating everything we say or do for the highest good of all concerned, more compassion, love, and delight flow into our daily life. The law of higher will serves the highest good of all, and the highest good of all includes you. Can you trust in that? Write that down. The law of higher will serves as a guideline to align ourselves with spirit, to inspire ourselves, and to help us inspire others, and to recognize what's already working rather than what is not. Everything is happening for us, not to us. Write that down. Deep breath in and let it out. The five yays is a practice That came from my early years of being self-employed when I really struggled against the sense of nothing working and nothing working fast enough. So I created this practice where I would write in my notebook, the same notebook that I kept next to me on my desk as I worked, the same notebook that eventually became the format for the 30-day plan. And in that notebook, I would write out five yays. Yay number one, yay number two, yay number three, four, five. And I would fill them in as I went throughout the day. Yay, I had a cup of really good coffee. Yay, I heard back from that prospect I reached out to. Yay, I created my speaker one sheet. And this is still a practice, a bit adapted, I'll admit, but still a practice that I do to this very day. Your assignment. Five yays for the day. List them out. Yay one, two, three, four, and five. And then the energy will continue to ripple out and positively impact all of your business days. Thank you for being a part of this Business Miracles podcast episode and for beginning to dip your toe into the journey of highly sensitive leadership training. If you are ready to truly use your sensitivities as strengths in all parts of your work and life, I invite you to connect for a one-on-one chat. You will experience being deeply listened to and together we'll get a sense of whether the highly sensitive leadership training programs are the best next step for you and your highly sensitive journey at this time. Just go to www.claritycall.com to schedule a conversation. We so look forward to connecting with you. Talk to you soon.